Hello, my soccer universe, or better, hola, my soccer universe, uh, and welcome to part two of the La Liga jersey review. This time we'll have Barca in there, so I decided to wear Barca, and I decided to go with an away shirt from the same season as this famous one, a to make a point that Barca jerseys are always, you know, the rule for Barca away jerseys take an off color and just slap a crest on it, and this is prime example, but I have to say this, ever since they won the Cup Winners Cup in 997, this is a proper Barca away color that I find acceptable. There are only a few like orange, yellow and this color that I find actually acceptable. So you can already guess why. But yeah, I just said Barca in this video. How did I decide which uh, jersey, uh, which teams go in this video? Uh, if you've seen part one, you already know, but I'll explain it to you again. I took last season standings and split them in parts of four. You had the top four, the next four, and so on, and so on, and so on. And then I numbered them uh, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on, and so on. And every team with a number two next to it is in this video. And in addition, I sorted them somewhat alphabetically. I think here it doesn't really break down at any point. And Barca, I know it's FC Bar Bar Barcelona, but I decided it's, I call it Barca, is the first team in here. And we get a home jersey that celebrates 10 years of the famous 10-11 season, uh, basically borrowing the same design, not going with the red pants though, and adding a little bit something in there. And I have to say it's the adding a little something that really, I think, messes with this jersey. First of all, look at how, despite having three colors and three prime colors uh, in there, it is only those three colors and then whatever colors are on the, on the crest. So makes for a much easier to look at shirt and I actually like the yellow accent on that jersey a whole lot. Here we have a white sponsor, which is already the first point of contention to me. I know, I, I don't like this whole, uh, yeah, we cannot have white because of Real Madrid argumentation, because if you put it on, it's a Barca jer jer jersey, and I think with white you can do quite some stuff. And white has been Barca's away color from, from, from the, uh, for a long time. So, uh, I think it started in the 80s when they went away from white. So that's the first thing. Also, the rivalry while there was not as big as it is now. But uh, going back to the home, jer home jersey, just the basic design, it does two things. A, it adds those yellow pinstripes in the middle, which I think is a nice accent, but it doesn't make it really look bar Barcelona. But I think for a one-off, uh, you know, one year, I'm fine with that. But also then there's a gradient in there. You have it towards the pinstripe, it's darker and then gets a little bit lighter. And that to me is trying too much. You're adding some weird structure to a jersey that has already a lot going on. Prefer preferably it would neither have the pinstripes nor the gradient. But if it wants to have that, you either have to decide on one and not on both. You're getting here a train wreck of, of, of a jersey where seemingly some um, uh, intern at a design firm I got uh, all worked up with their design tools and put it all in there. It's just too much. I know if I do some stuff I sometimes also uh, go a little bit too much but I think for such a classic jersey like Barca's this is trying too much and we already have I think the last Barca jersey I think that was universally kind of praised and even I have some bones to pick with that one is this one from 16, 17. Since then, I would argue we have not seen really a proper Barca jersey. And this was kind of the return to that, but not really. It's just way too messy. Uh, it looks all right, but I almost want, I, I will give this a rather low grade with four stars because there's just way too many things going on. Probably the best looking Barca jersey is the away jersey with black and gold. Yes, it looks really, really, really well. And even the monochromatic Barca crest uh, looks better than most of the Madrid crests that way because, um, or other like Valencia. This egg actually can work because you have here the blue, which goes easily into a dark color and the red can go in a lighter color. So. And the same thing goes for the flag here. So actually, I have to say it somewhat works. Um, 
my biggest gripe with that one is Barca has a dark home jersey. The away jersey doesn't need to be darker, it should be lighter. This jersey is made for playing uh, at light color teams like Celta, but at Celta you can very well play in your home colors. Yes, they played with the, the, the black one. This seems like this is made for the fashion market, not necessarily for uh, practical purposes. I remember the first one, I think it was 11, 12, when they also had a black uh, away jersey, which I actually liked a little bit. No, I, I yeah, had full color categories. I didn't like this one with the cut out of uh, foundation on there. But I always thought black is not a proper away color for Barcelona. They always show you have a dark home jersey, you have to go light. Just playing it, looking at this, is a really nice looking jersey. I said, as I said before, and even the sponsor here fits perf perfectly on there. There's nothing I can complain. This would, uh, if it wasn't for this, that it's too dark, I would actually say it is a nine star jersey, but I have to drop it down a little bit because it doesn't make, make me This is not made because for practical purposes, this is made for money, money purposes. And for that reason, I'm only going to give this seven. I'm really, really tough on that one because I really don't like it when teams pull out uh, stuff, but it looks fine. Barca should try this in white. They will never, never, ever do that. I know that. And then to really tick me off, they pulled out this third jersey. And I have in videos of La Liga, when this is worn in full configuration with black pants and uh, turquoise socks, I cannot tell you how much I hate it. And I hate it even more because we will see a whole lot, lot of it. Uh, I call this the Miami Vice jer jer jersey. I mean, if Barcelona, if, if, it will, if, it will, if it would be Miami FC, that's a jersey you, sh you should wear. This is not a Barca. This is nothing Barca. Yes, you take uh, a tealish uh, turquoise color, fine. Don't color the crest with it. Don't. I mean, this crest sticks out like a sore thumb here. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't look like it looks lost here. It looks wrong. Absolutely wrong. Um, the turquoise is an accent. Maybe or all right. But I think here you should have gone black and pink. Go the Palermo look, and then allow the crest to have at least a pink backdrop. You did it on the previous pink church so that I actually didn't this did this like I was more multi was thinking of buying that that one even I have not and now that I have three bars of wagers I don't see a reason really to get one uh, if that was worn just with you know this side of one of the accent colors I actually will, will, will prefer the black over the turquoise but this way it just gets way too messy way too messy no pun intended here uh, and you know, not the good Messi. It's really, really, re really bad. Uh, I hated this the moment I saw it. Last season, Barca had actually, I would argue, the away jerseys, both yellow ones, were wonderful. And I'm recording the day after they lost to Atleti, which I, I find it funny that they had to use the yellow one. So this tell, tells you, this is just fashion market. This, they didn't think, yeah, we have to play at Atleti. We, what, what are we playing with uh, Atleti? Ah, uh, we cannot spoil the look, you know, if you would have red pants with your home home jersey, it might have worked. So yeah, for that reason, this is the first one. I hate this with a vengeance. I'm not going to give it one, I give this two stars. <laughs> Just because it's not that hor hor horrible, but it's not a good look looking jersey. And then uh, the fourth kit that, that came out, I had to say I had to laugh all about this one. Um, I literally don't know where to go with it. I literally don't know. It takes this jersey with the yellow collar, it sprinkles in a little bit of the 1617 jersey, and then it adds a Catalan flag. You see here, this is, I think, from the Maber days. They kind of put this shadow striping in here. Yeah. Um, The bad thing is I don't dislike it. First of all, the Rakuten is in yellow, if you haven't seen here. Uh, so that, and even, even the Beko. Um, so I don't dislike it, but it, it, it's also too much. It's way too much. <sighs> I, I, and, 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 and you know, you have the shadow striping on the blue sand sensor, but you don't have it. It's messy as can be. Um, I don't dislike the idea. I actually, I have to, I have to say, I, <clears throat> seeing it like that, if I had the chance to get this for a very re reasonable price, 20 euros or something, I think I would even buy that one. 
But there are so many things wrong with this that I, I find it really hard to give this a grade that's anyway above four. Three stars. I'm gonna give give, give this a three stars because it, it's just too much, too much. But I don't like. I don't dislike it. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. Let's move on from Barca. I talked way too much Barca. Bet this. Um, when I see this in play at first, I always thought, oh, this, this is interesting, this classic bet this. And then I realized that the striping is very irre irregular. And if I look at it now on this one, I always thought it's half and half, but I don't think it's half and half. I know there's a center line, but it seems like that the center white stripe is thicker than the center green stripe. And then the green stripe with the Betis logo. I don't think this is necessarily half, half, half and half. This is actually messier than, than it first looks to be. But it is Betis, at least. Yeah. So I'm I'm willing to give this the six stars. I don't like like the box. There's not much exciting. I actually like the golden accents on, on there. But I think six stars is probably a um, good way to go because you know I like symmetry a little bit and I think it's a little bit too irregular here. Uh, maybe you know it's also an op optical illusion because the white is more prominent than the green, so it sticks out more even if they would be the same width. But if I'm I cope, I cope with it. I stick with the six stars. Uh, I think Betis had a really nice choice the last last two seasons. This one is a teeny bit of a disappointment. I have I have to say, but it doesn't look out of place at all. Ah, uh, the away jersey though. Oh, <laughs> what is it with crazy jerseys in this video? Uh, first of all, the sleeve curves I absolutely love. I even can get a board with uh, purple, but me being from Austria, the big rivalry in Austria is. Uh, Rapid Vienna against Austria Vienna, which is green and white against purple. So this does not go well together. <laughs> if you want to get beat up in Vienna, you wear this jersey. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, and then the the diamond pattern in there. No. Uh, <laughs> I gave the bars a fourth a three star and I'm thinking the same thing here. Yeah, this is more of a three three star to star to me. I have to, have, to, have to say, despite it being gray, I actually like this third jersey. Um, I think there's something interesting. I want to know what this line in the middle is. So it's a dark gray. I don't like gray, but I like this. I really love the sleeve cuffs. Uh, I like the two-tone and then I want to know what this green line re represents that that would be interesting I think even the monochromatic crest here doesn't look out of, out of place because you know it is green and white and green and gray uh, Looks fine. I also like the tem the template um, Usually I don't like gray edges, but this one is one of the better ones and I'm also gonna give this six stars Granada, oh yeah, 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 yeah uh, this is a jersey I've also been dis disliking since, since I saw it. This is the current France jersey but instead of having it uh, dark blue with some light blue hoops and then a red cross, this just takes red and then white. Um, Granada has the hoops in uh, red and white, which I think is a look that I like, but here it's A, too much red. And then I don't like that this chest band is suddenly uh, thicker and then the, the rest, it, it doesn't look appealing in any way to me. Spawns is good on there, the blue also fits, but I have to say I never, when I see this one, it doesn't look right to me. It doesn't look Granada to, to me. And yes, they are a team that have, have to go to Teamwear, so I don't think they will ever get a uh, proper made George or so last season they had, had one that, that, that was close to, but nah, doesn't look the part. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give this two stars we're not i'm not liking many shirts here the black one is all right but it's too boring boring for me so that's f to me and then you know took also two color colorful I mean, uh, four stars here and this one is just a mess this is just uh, no no the red sponsor the black applications the yellow sleeves and the turquoise I don't need to say more. Two stars. Wesca, let's save us a little bit here. Oh, Kelma did a great job. I like the cross of Wesca. I like the, uh, the blue. I like the dark red. This actually looks quite nice. Um, strong look. Absolutely strong look. Uh, full color, color crest. Kelma, 
and the mountain background even better. Nine stars. See, I can also give high grades. Uh, the away, away jersey. All right, it's white. That's a little bit boring, don't you think? I, I, I will say so too. So here we're gonna go five because of monochromatic crest. And then I have to say, I really like this green jer uh, jersey. I would not necessarily know when you would need this green, but it actually looks really, really nice. This I like better than the Barca jer jersey. I'm gonna give this uh, eight stars because green and uh, gold also fits and probably has to do with, you know, the mountains that actually, it, the pro picture convinces me here, otherwise I would go all over this one. But yeah, Ueska saves us in this video. And then also Suna, who knows with Adidas, they were with Kelme last season, which I actually, I like the, no, no, not Hummel. I actually like the Hummel kids. Um, seemingly they are celebrating, I think, a centenarian. So we have the red jersey with golden accents and monochromatic crest, which, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and the bullfighting ring here. Not a big fan overall. It's a little bit boring, but it looks not bad either. Uh, reminds me more of a Spain jer jersey like this one here. Um, I'm gonna go six here. Uh, the away jersey, dark blue. <laughs> yeah, you saw this is reminds me of the last season's Real Madrid. Is one better. The spawn's a little bit ugly, but I think that is one better. Eight stars, although I'd rather have this a third jersey because the best looking one is this third kit in white, which has both the club's colors. The only one with, with a full color crest and really nice having the red three stripes and then the blue collar. I actually really like the like the, the, this one as well. Uh, although it's a classic, uh, a classic Adidas stuff, but I'm gonna give this eight stars. This is probably the best one of them all. Poo. I'm glad we had some good looking teams at the, at the end of, of this video. Um, Barca went wacko. Let, let me know what you thought about all the kids in this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.